back to another piano tutorial. Today's topic, stop trying so hard, just play one note. Sounds simple, doesn't it? That's because it actually is. Now check this out. We're going to do a piano style today where the right hand is literally just going to be playing rhythms on a single, single note, which will create this very kind of soothing, relaxed, kind of hypnotic, meditative thing. And instead, we'll open up a lot of space for the left hand chords to move around very freely and flowily. So let's start with a basic, basic version of this. In B flat major, why not? I like that we're gonna be kind of getting into a new key every time. So let's just get quickly situated with B flat major. And we're gonna go through the seven triads for start, starting with one B flat major. Here we go. Two, three, four. Remember, you could always do one five with the left hand. Love that. Five, six. Now, as you know, the seven's a little crunchy. It's not quite what we want right now. I'm gonna show you a slick trick for what to do when you have a seven chord. Instead of doing the root position, which ends up being a diminished triad. You can instead treat it as if it was the five chord, but with the third in the bass. So what I mean is you're gonna play an F major chord and just keep A in the bass. So F major with the right hand. And instead of doing F in the bass, we're gonna put A in the bass. And it's this sound right here. That's called a first inversion triad. A first inversion triad is any triad that has the third in the bass instead of the root. Let's go through that one more time quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna call this next one five first inversion. One, boom. Now, let's get our little one single note going with our little right pointer finger for now. This one's nice which means that we're gonna leave a lot of heavy lifting to the left hand. So I'm gonna show you very nice ways to play big open position triads, like this. For the one chord, we're gonna go pinky high. Now hold the sustain pedal down, and with your thumb, pivot over to get that D, that third. Now here's a good exercise right here. Just practice that arpeggio very slowly. Let's do eight notes. One, two, three, and four, and. all day. Mm, it's like a lullaby. Beautiful. Now let's try the same thing on the two chord. One, five, ten. The ten is the third of the octave, by the way. Hell yeah. Now three. One, five, ten. Now let's try the four chord. One, five, ten. Five chord, one, five, ten. I know I'm just saying a lot of numbers, but you know what I mean. And the sixth chord. Now, as we talked about, whenever we get to the seven chord, we're gonna do the five chord, but with the third and the bass. Now, this shape is like this: the third, the root, and the five. exercise before we get our little one noter in we're gonna go through all seven of those and we're gonna do a whole note per chord and we're gonna arpeggiate in eighth notes like that like this one two three and four and
right, now let's go back down. Same thing. One, two, and three, and four, and... get any harder because remember the lesson is stop trying so hard just play one note so that right hand is just gonna go ham on one note and by the way if you're doing the one note thing there's two options of any key if you're doing the tonal thing it's gonna be the one and the five the five is good the one is good so let's try the one for now maybe we'll do some five too here we go we're gonna do that same kind of arpeggiated thing and I'm just going to play rhythms with that B flat on the right hand, like this. kind of slides against each other and everything just kind of works with everything. It's really, really pretty. That's just the basics. Let's try where instead of going up in a scale like that, we kind of move the chords around more freely like this. We'll do the same thing, whole note per chord. One, two, three, four. That's going to be rocking the F with the right hand. That's bound to have some good results too. I'm going to do kind of a similar approach with the left hand. I'm going to do a quicker harmonic rhythm, maybe do two beats per chord, something like that. Let's try it out. super pretty. They kind of have different things going on. They both super duper work. All right, we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to play two notes with the right hand. We're going to play both the B flat and the F. Same left hand approach. Let's see what that's like. I'm just curious. Super well. All right, that's one way to just chill and play one 
maybe two notes with the right hand, and just let the left hand do the talking and the flow and kind of see what happens. Now that would be considered the diatonic approach because all the chords fitted very nicely into the key of B flat major. Now, another option, and this is going to take a little more uh, imagination, possibly some finger knowledge, which you are going to have through these videos, is the non-diatonic approach, where you're just kind of freely playing chords and triads and seventh chords that are going to hit the spot and work with that single note. So, I'm going to show you what that's going to be like. And what I recommend you do is possibly pause and transcribe some of the things you see in the take I'm going to do. And also take the knowledge from the past videos that we've done. Like the 2-5 video from two weeks ago, that's going to show you a lot of great examples for major 7 chords and minor 7 chords in all 12 keys that with time you will learn to figure out which ones hit the spot with that single note you choose. And there's always lots of options. Right now, just use your instinct. Here we go. B flat with the right hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gonna play major and minor triads in that open position, big style. And I'm going to make sure that all of the chords I choose involve the B flat in the scale, like such. So as you can see, there's tons of triad options, like pretty much every single one of the 12 chromatic notes has a triad that will be very resolved and consonant and beautiful against any single note. Now take your time with what I just played and try and dissect even just a few moments of it. Down the road as we go through these videos, I can talk about the mechanics behind what is happening there. But for now, the mechanics don't even matter. Just experience and enjoy the beauty of it working, and down the road the knowledge will come. I got you on that. So for now, practice this. One, maybe two notes of the right hand. Big open position triads. Start by getting really good with the diatonic ones, and then down the road just trust your ear and follow your instincts and just decide, hey, that sounds good, I'm gonna do more of that. That doesn't sound good, maybe I'll find another direction to go there and just Follow that path, you're gonna find it. You're gonna find that path, just keep going. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jonathan Stein, it's been a pleasure showing you this today. Have fun with all this, practice, keep following that creative path. Love to y'all, stay swest.